past few months, there's been a lot of different opportunities out there for free training and free exams for folks wanting to do different IT certifications. Most of these though, at least from what I've seen, have been more focused on cloud technologies. So I wanted to share something that's a little bit more network centric, and I also wanted to throw down a little bit of a certification challenge. Now, don't worry, it's completely free, and any time you spend doing it is really only gonna make you a better engineer. Hey everybody, what's good, what's going on? JB here with another Cyber Insight video. Thanks for dropping by the channel again and making it your new spot for cyber and network knowledge. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Juniper Network certifications and the training and labs and exams that they all offer for free. So it's really a, a great opportunity for folks who are just getting into networking to have the opportunity to go after some certifications on some technology that's really relevant in the industry. So since it's free, why not talk about it? The different paths that are available depending on the interest that you have within the network engineering fields. And I'll share the resources that are available out there that I've started using myself and explain to you what exactly my challenge is. But before we do that, as always, please hit the like, subscribe and notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any new content whenever I drop new videos. All right, let's get into it. All right, so while we're jumping right into this, I can already kind of feel a little bit of the apprehension about, hey, you know, I only want to learn Cisco. This is all that I'm going to do. Cisco's the, the main player in the field and stuff like that. And I, I get it. I, I was you. I was there. Um, I did Cisco certifications for, whew, uh, I don't know, 10 plus years. CCNA, CCMP, CCIE written, all that stuff. This is great. There's nothing wrong with Cisco. Cisco's everywhere. You need to learn Cisco. But Cisco costs money. And while there's resources on YouTube and, and other places, you are going to end up putting money into getting the right books and the right labs and things like that to progress through those different certifications. And there's nothing wrong with that. That is what we have to do as network engineers. What I wanted to share with you today is maybe a, a second option that you could look at, um, especially at this point where most people are working from home and they have a lot of free time and that is the Juniper Networks certification tracks. Juniper is widely respected. It's primarily used by a lot of service providers. The federal government uses them. Uh, they just make a absolutely great product. If you go and you learn Juniper and you put that on your resume, if you are being interviewed by anybody that knows anything about networks, they aren't gonna look down on you having any Juniper certifications. In fact, that's gonna be a differentiator for you against all the other people who only have Cisco stuff on their resumes. So I just wanna throw that out there, kind of level set on why I think looking at Juniper is a, a good way to go. So there's three main things that I wanna look at uh, in today's video. The first is kind of the overall certification path that's available with Juniper. The second is their Genius website, which has all of the uh, trainings and sample tests for all of their certifications. And coupled with that, for all of their associate level certifications, if you go through their course and you do well enough on their practice exams, then they will actually give you a free exam voucher to go take uh, that certification that you were studying for. So that is absolutely awesome and something that you should fully take advantage of. The last thing uh, is a little bit more from the hands-on perspective, and that is the virtual labs that Juniper has that are free as well. They have a virtual environment where you can go and sign up for free lab time. It, you can spin up any of their hardware that they have as virtual instances. You can start all the way from the bottom as far as just one device and learning and becoming familiar with that all the way to their higher end devices. You could build out a very large mesh network using all different types of BGP and IPv6 and ISIS. And it also has all of the licenses that you would normally expect uh, on a fully operational uh, service provider level device. Um, so things like application security, so layer seven, firewall, IDP, um, a whole long list of different types of services, you're able to actually test those out in their lab environment. So let's jump into this real quick and we'll start off looking at their certification track. So we see that's broken down very similarly to the way that Cisco has done their certification paths. You have a routing and switching option, a data center option, a security option, cloud, 
automation, DevOps, and design. Now, what we're talking about primarily here is the entry level certification. So their associate level. So think on the same level as like the Cisco CCNA. So they have their JNCIA Junos certification, which covers both routing and switching. That's kind of like your welcome to Juniper. Here is a kind of how a Juniper device, independent of what it is, kind of just works from a control plane and data plane, routing, switching, uh, access list, stuff like that. Then they have a data center track that they don't have an associate um, certification for, but you could kind of argue that that falls underneath the, the design track over here. So their JNCDA kind of, uh, I would say, aligns with that. Um, then you have your security track, which is gonna be going over things dealing with, you know, your firewalls and IPsec and things like that. Um, then your cloud, level certification and your uh, DevOps certification. Me personally, I've probably been using Juniper for, oh, maybe 10 years or so. So the associate level stuff, um, I'm pretty comfortable with, at least from the Junos perspective and the security perspective and the design perspective. The, the ones that are new to me that I don't really necessarily deal with so much is gonna be the cloud and the DevOps. So this is where I kind of lay out this challenge for you. All this is free, it's there. Uh, they give you all of the tools to be able to study and test yourself. And then once you do good enough on that, they give you a free exam voucher to go take the certification test. So there's really no reason, if you have the time uh, and you have an interest in networking, why you shouldn't look into this. Now, I'm not saying you need to do all five of them, but it probably would be pretty good uh, just from a, a learning and experience perspective to kind of take a look at which one of those might be interesting to you, might kind of align with what you're doing within your career from a networking perspective, and maybe look into those a little bit. Now, the full challenge that I'm laying out is I'm gonna try and do all five of these. So I started with the Juno certification. If you've seen in the past week, I've done two live streams for their practice exams. Today, I actually took the exam for the voucher and I passed that. So I'm just waiting to get my email from Juniper stating that I have the free exam voucher and then I'm gonna go and, and take that Juno's test. After that, I'm then gonna go and do the security one and the design one uh, because those are ones that I feel um, more aligned with experiences that I've had. I'm gonna stream all the practice exams so everybody can kind of get a feel for the type of information that each of these are covering. I hope that that entices folks to be interested and go and take a look at the, the free resources that are there. But that's my challenge to you. There's five exams here, they're all free. All the information is there. Um, I'd love it if some other folks would join me in this challenge to uh, go after and gain this knowledge uh, from Juniper and be able to take it and uh, improve their careers. After looking at the breakdown of all the paths here, we go and we look at the Junos Genius website where they have all the free training. So a few cool things with this, right? You sign up for here, it's free. Um, you have the particular learning tracks um, for the certifications, but let's say that you're brand new to, to networking, right? Well, they have some basic getting started with networking trainings here that you can take as well. These will be tied back specifically to a certain certification, but if you're looking for something that maybe is a little bit more network plus level, this might be a good place to start. And then once you feel comfortable with that, then jump into uh, the Juniper associate certifications. Like I said, they have the associate level stuff, the specialist level stuff, the professional level stuff. Um, they got some cert prep videos. They have a, a whole bunch of awesome stuff here. So um, what we were looking at here was this should look kind of familiar because this lines up with the five different tracks that we were looking at, right? And I said that I was working on the routing and switching one first, so we'll click into here. And they have their associate level, their specialist level, and their professional level, so we're in the associate level. And you'll see once you click into here, you have all these different modules that you can go down and click into. These are basically different chapters covering different topics. And once you click into them, they'll have different types of content that you can read or videos. Um, and they'll have a few questions sprinkled in here and there to kind of test your knowledge. Once you get through all of these modules, they have some practice tests that you can take. 
These are the ones that I made the two uh, videos for. I'll put links for those down below as well. Um, once you do okay on those, you'll see if we click into one of these guys. All right, kind of shows what I did. We can look at my answers. All right, and this is kind of what we did. This was, I did this after I did the live stream the other day. I went back, reviewed the ones that I missed, and then went back and took the test again. So once you do the practice tests, then you can go and take the voucher assessment test. Um, I took that today and I got an 84, needed to get a 70 to pass. You get three attempts on this. If you end up failing them, then they're not gonna end up giving you the free voucher. So be careful with taking uh, the voucher tests. Don't go in and click on it to look around because as soon as you actually open it up and go and take, start taking the test and that's gonna count whether or not you finish the test or not. At the end of most of these chapters, there's some labs that they actually go through and automate. So you actually can kind of just see what they're doing. But if you actually wanted to go and test those out and get some hands-on experience, the other thing you can do is go into the Juniper Virtual Labs and build out the architecture and test out the configurations. So let's take a look at that next. So the Juniper VLabs is awesome. Um, as I mentioned, you can do standalone stuff. So any of these different types of devices, whether it's a router or a firewall, um, switches, you can build those out. Um, you could do different routing scenarios that they already have where it's already pre-built. So if you wanted to test out specific types of configurations and already pre-built out environment, this is very cool. Again, if it's not necessarily the routing stuff that you're interested in, it's more interested in the security. You can do uh, some pre-built labs here uh, with the SRXs. So for instance, if you wanted to set up different firewall policies between different security zones, this is awesome. Um, IPsec tunneling between devices, uh, doing some NAT and stuff like that. Very, very cool. And they even have some automation labs um, as well as some telemetry, Kubernetes, um, some stuff dealing with our security director, which is pushing out different types of configurations and stuff like that to multiple devices. This is all here. This is all free. Whenever you want to use it, you just come in. Say if we're going to do, just for example, this one here. We click into it, kind of gives you a breakdown of everything going on, tells you the things you can do within the sandbox. Very, very cool. Just hit launch. Now, this shows you what the lab looks like as it is pre-built. You actually can't do anything with this yet because you haven't reserved it. So then what you would need to do is you would go over to the reserve button. Right? It'll tell you how long you have it, three hours, the name, all the stuff that's in there. It'll even tell you, it'll send you an email notification before your lab time is up. Tell you the blueprint, some specifics. Maybe you want to do something different in here. Different versions of software that you can play around with. Very cool. So then you just hit reserve and it would spin it up and then you'd be able to lab to your heart's content. All right, so that's it. I mean, we have some awesome resources provided by Juniper, all free, the labs, the study guides, the lessons, the sample tests, all of that. Use it, study, get the free exam vouchers. So come with me on this challenge. I'm gonna do the five certifications. I'm not expecting anybody to do that, but at least go out, look at the information on one of them. I, I guarantee it will help your career out, especially if you're a network engineer, to at least spend some time looking at something other than Cisco. I promise it, it'll be worth your time. Uh, if I could get some folks that were interested in doing more than one, that would be awesome. If anybody out there is crazy and wants to do all five, man, that would be, that would be fantastic. I'd, I'd love to hear about it. So uh, drop me some comments down below. Again, no pressure. All this stuff is free. It's out there. I think that it's, it's worth your time. Um, as always, hit the like, subscribe, notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me any comments on any other topics or future things you want me to cover. 
please stay safe. Take care of yourself, your friends, your family. Um, I hope everybody's doing good. Go get at it and we'll talk soon.